Hey, this is Mad Matt from Budget Boosting. Today we're going to show you how to change rotors on a 1986 Chevy Blazer four-wheel drive. Now this will be similar to some other Blazers as well, probably all the way up to 98 or 99, probably going a little earlier like uh, 1984 when they started this body style. So this will show you quite a bit. So we're going to show you how to change the rotors. First, you want to make sure you got all your parts, all the right parts. We have a brand new rotor right there, and we got the tools we need. First thing we're going to have to do is remove the disc brake caliper. So you put the old tool on there and remove the disc brake caliper. Let's see, we already kind of loosened them a little bit, so this won't be so hard. But, you know, you got the idea. Remove the caliper. Once you remove the caliper, we're going to set it aside. Hardware. Caliper. Set it aside. Stay. Okay. Then we pull the rotor off. There's the old rotor there. Seen better days. New rotor. Inspect it, looks good. Slide it on. And since the rotor kind of likes to move like this, I always put a lug nut on here to hold this steady while I put the caliper back on so you don't have to sit there and wrestle with this thing. So I put a lug nut right here just to hold the rotor in place so it's a lot easier to put the caliper on, like so. There's the caliper. Caliper hardware, you line up the hole, put the pin in, and finger tighten. Get the second one, line up the hole, and finger tighten. Now, start using the tool. Do a little bit at a time per side. Probably the fastest uh, disc brake rotor I've changed. And mind you, we also put brand new pads on here as well. Brand new pads on the brake caliper. And that's what we highly recommend too. If you put new rotors on, definitely use brand new pads, which can be found at your O'Reilly's or your AutoZone auto parts stores or similar. I'm gonna get these tight. This one's almost there. All right, there you have it. There's your brand new disc brake rotor, your brand new disc brake pads on this 1986 Chevy Blazer four-wheel drive. So remember, then you put your wheel and tire and your lug nuts back on and everything just like you would anything else. So there you have it. Nice, quick, simple, and easy. Probably the fastest rotor I've ever changed on a car. So hey, thank you. Thank you for watching Budget Boosting. If you like us, like us on Facebook, like our YouTube page, like our videos. If you don't like them, well, hey, please leave a comment of why you don't like them. And remember, our budget boosting window stickers, eBay Buy It Now auctions on our budgetboosting.com website. And remember, knowledge is power, it's horsepower. Okay, now the air filter's clean and I'm happy with it. It's okay to leave a little bit of the water still in there because it's not going to hurt if you leave your engine at idle for about five minutes and let it kind of slowly suck the little mist of the water left in it, which is fine. But um, as you can see, there's still a little teeny bit of oil left in the filter, which is fine.